Well, I hope you had a, you've had a good day so far today. And I just want to take a moment uh, and uh, give you just a challenge uh, for the day, uh, something that will encourage you as you go throughout the rest of your day today. We're going to continue in Psalm 5 and just have one verse uh, that I want to, uh, to look at today. It's an exciting verse, uh, and uh, I am thrilled about it, and uh, I can't wait to share it with you. So let's look at it. Psalm 5, let's look at verse number 11. Psalm 5 uh, in verse number 11 today. This is, this is so exciting. As Christians, uh, this is a thrilling verse. Uh, in Psalm 5, verse number 11, the Bible says, but let all those that put their trust in thee, see that next word it is, rejoice. Let them ever shout for joy, because thou defendest, defendest them. Let them also that love thy name be joyful in thee. You get the theme of the verse here? Simply joy, rejoice. We see shout uh, for joy. Uh, as Christians, man, we have so much to rejoice, be thankful, be happy about. In our world today, uh, our world, they look for happiness everywhere. That's why we have, uh, you see people that are addicted to different things because they're looking for a form of happiness or an escape from the discouraging uh, situation that they find themselves in. But there is great joy in knowing the Lord. I want to look at just a couple of these three different truths, if you will, uh, about rejoicing and about joy. Uh, before we do, I want to share with you uh, what the Bible says about joy just quickly here before we look back at verse number 11. In the New Testament, we see uh, in Philippians chapter number four and verse number four, it says, rejoice in the Lord. And I like this next word, rejoice in the Lord always. And again, I say rejoice. Let me tell you something. The, life can be difficult at times. Uh, trials come into our lives. Tribulations come into our lives and we experience difficulty. But the Bible says rejoice in the Lord always. And again, I say rejoice. Even in the midst of our sorrow, even in the midst of our difficulty, we can still rejoice because we rejoice in the Lord. We're not rejoicing. Uh, our circumstances might bring a brief fleeting moment of happiness. But true joy comes from the Lord. And so it doesn't matter what's going on around us. We as Christians can still rejoice because of the Lord. Psalm 118 and verse number 24 says this. This is the day which the Lord hath made. We will rejoice and be glad in it. Be glad uh, that you can live today rejoice in today because you get to experience it here. Uh, and uh, we rejoice in the Lord in the day that he has given to us. Now, I want to show you <coughs> three truths uh, from Psalm 5 here. Uh, and so let's, let's uh, in verse number 11, so let's walk through uh, this verse. At the very beginning here in verse number 11, it says, but let all those that put their trust in the rejoice. Rejoicing Having that joyful attitude, that joyful spirit, rejoicing is a result of trusting God. Rejoicing is a result of trusting God. As we've already mentioned, we can still have joy in the midst of dire circumstances, in the midst of dire difficulties. Uh, but let all those that put their trust in thee rejoice, David says here. And let me tell you, David was a, was a remarkable individual, man after God's own heart. But man, David had uh, made some serious mistakes <clears throat> and committed some uh, serious uh, sin as well. And, and God takes all sin seriously, but as we consider sin, we would think, man, David, how could you do that and still be a man after God's own heart? But you know what? David, he still loved the Lord. And when he was right with the Lord, he had great reason to rejoice. Says, but let all those who put their trust in thee rejoice. It was during those times in David's life when he did not trust the Lord that were the most difficult. But even, even uh, when he did trust the Lord, he still experienced difficult days, but his outlook was completely different because he trusted God. 
I think of one major victory that he had in his life uh, when he defeated Goliath. Man, that, that seemed like an impossible situation. And yet David took a stand for the Lord against uh, Goliath and God gave him great victory. Uh, and we today, we can truly rejoice today if we are trusting God. You know what? Every one of us, we have Goliaths in our life. We have what appears to be uh, great trials and great difficulties that we cannot overcome by ourselves, but God can. Uh, and that should cause us to rejoice because our God is bigger than the problem. Our God is bigger uh, than the trial. Psalm 144 in verse number 15 says, happy is that people that is in such a case, yea, happy is that people whose God is the Lord. My challenge for you today is who is your God today? Christian, that's a great question for us. We would all say, every one of us who know Jesus Christ our Savior, we'd say, man, uh, Jesus is God. God, he is my Lord. But do we live like he is our God? You know, sometimes we, we live like a sports team is our God. A hobby is our God. Our occupation is our God. Who is your God today? Is, is your God, Jehovah God, the King of kings and Lord of lords? Happy is that people whose God is the Lord. There's nothing more, nobody more miserable than the Christian uh, who is not trusting in the Lord and, and who is not uh, uh, giving themselves wholly to the Lord. Christians who are mediocre, uh, and are unwilling to commit to the Lord are most miserable. Secondly, uh, first of all, we see rejoicing is a result of trusting God. Look back down to verse number 11. The Bible says, uh, let them ever shout for joy because thou defendest them. Uh, that's a truly remarkable statement there. Shouting for joy is a result of being defended by God. Shouting for joy is a result of being defended by God. God is our defense. We read in scripture that, that the, the Bible tells us that a vengeance is mine, I will repay, saith the Lord. We don't need to fight the battles. God fights them for us. In fact, we find, uh, uh, we find in the New Testament the armor of God. God has given us all of the tools to be victorious if we will but trust him. Uh, and follow his lead. Psalm 18 and verse number two says, the Lord is my rock and my fortress and my deliverer, my God, my strength in whom I will trust, my buckler and the horn of my salvation and my high tower. Man, the Lord defends us. He protects us. That should cause us to shout for joy. Man, uh, I, I love uh, uh, watching sports. I love basketball, football, I love baseball. And there's some plays that are really more exciting than others, obviously. In baseball, uh, the spectacular defensive play, it is hard to beat uh, an outfielder running to the outfield fence and snatching a ball that would be a home run and bringing it back into the park. And man, that, that is awesome, that great defense. Uh, I remember uh, years ago when the, the Detroit Pistons were, in the, uh, were making their run towards the finals in 2004 and they're uh, playing the Indiana Pacers and, uh, and it was a tight game and uh, a, a player for the Pacers, Reggie Miller, had gotten the ball and was, was running up the court for a layup and Tayshaun Prince came from behind and swatted the ball uh, out of bounds. And man, it kind of turned the game uh, in the Pistons' favor. Man, that was so thrilling and so exciting. What a tremendous Tremendous, uh, tremendous defense that was. Man, it caused me to shout for joy. Man, I was jumping up. Whoa, what a block. That's awesome. God is our defense. Uh, and he's the one that protects us. You could say that he's the one that keeps us in the game. Uh, and, uh, and he has our back. We see here, I, and I already, already read it to you in Psalm 18, verse 2, but just a couple things. Uh, he's our rock, fortress, deliverer, strength, uh, buckler, the horn of my salvation, and my high tower. All, all things that, that talk about uh, defense uh, and uh, 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 security. We can shout for joy today because we know a God that is in control, a God that loves us, and wants to protect us, that we can shout, shouting for joy is a result of being defended by God. Is God on your side today? Have you spent some time uh, in the word, in prayer, 
uh, making sure that there's nothing between you and your Savior. Shouting for joy as a result of being defended by God. And then thirdly, I want you to notice here at the end of verse number 11 where it says, uh, let them also that love thy name be joyful in thee. Loving God results in joyfulness. Loving God results in joyfulness. I'm not saying difficulties won't come, but there's a God in heaven that loves us and we love him because he first loved us. Loving God results in in joyfulness. Isaiah 61, verse number 10. I'm not gonna read the whole verse. just wanna give part of it to you. At the beginning it says, uh, Isaiah 61, 10 says, I will, I will greatly rejoice in the Lord. My soul shall be joyful in my God. And then it goes on to say, for he hath clothed me with the garments of salvation. He hath covered me with the robe of righteousness. Uh, as a bridegroom decketh himself with ornaments, and as a bride adorneth herself with her jewels. So we see the benefits of uh, of trusting the Lord uh, and uh, loving the Lord. I will great re greatly rejoice in the Lord. My soul shall be joyful in my God. Do you love God today? We would all raise our hands and say, yes, I, I love God. Uh, but we know the statement, the proof is in the pudding. Uh, I can tell my wife I love her to her face, but I need to show her that I love her by how I live, by, uh, by those things that I do for her. Uh, loving God results in joyfulness. Have you lost your joy? Well, let's start loving God more. Have you lost your joy? Well, let's rest assured in the fact that God defends us. Have you lost your joy amidst trial, amidst uh, uh, circumstances that are unpleasant? Trust God. Man, in the verse number 11, uh, we see the challenge to rejoice to shout for joy, uh, to be joyful. And, and it's all results of trusting God, knowing that we're defended by God and, and loving God. Today, we can have joy even when life gets us down because of the God that loves us and that we love and serve. Let's have joy today as we live for Jesus Christ. Let's have a word of prayer. Dear Heavenly Father, I pray that you would help us who are watching uh, uh, this video today to be joyful, not in our own circumstances, not in our accomplishments, but God, may we experience true joy because we trust you, because we know that you are defending us, you are on our side, and God, may we experience that joy that comes from loving you with all that we have. God, may we truly be a people that experience and express joy in our life. And God, may we be willing to share that joy with a world that so desperately needs it, a world that is looking everywhere for true happiness, must realize and see in the Christian that joy only comes from a personal relationship with you. God, bless us now. Give us a great day. Uh, we love you. In Jesus' name, amen. Thank you so much for being, uh, uh, being with me today. Uh, look forward uh, to our time uh, tomorrow as well. We'll be finishing out Psalm 5 uh, tomorrow. Uh, tomorrow. Uh, and then I want to encourage you to join us for our service Sunday uh, at 1030 uh, in the morning. Looking forward to that uh, as we continue our study through the final verses there uh, in the book of Jude. But don't forget our devotional tomorrow morning and then services at 1030. Be sure to like and share the video uh, and comment in the, uh, in the comment section below if you have a prayer request or a need. Uh, you need something that, uh, that I can pray for, uh, I'd love to do so. Thank you so much for your faithfulness uh, in watching and I wanna encourage you to do so uh, and to be a prayer for our church, our country, as we try to get things back to normal here uh, as soon as possible. Well, Lord bless you. Have a great day.